Many of you are eager to see firework shows this weekend, but it can be a much different story for military veterans. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila tells us why the festive explosions can be troubling for some of our American heroes. For some families, it's a tradition to hear the loud booms of fireworks as they light up the sky on the 4th of July. But for some veterans, it can be triggering. We've actually had to call the cops a few times. It gets so bad in our neighborhood. Um, it's just, a lot of times it's just feeling those compressions and those loud booms and flashes. It'll trigger you, so you have to, like, go hide, basically. For the past 30 years, Eric Hagee has served in the U.S. Army Reserve. 10 of them active duty. Ever since his first tour in Iraq in 2006, Hagee avoids fireworks at all costs. By doing that, it excludes me from some things, but it's okay because they don't understand everything that I do. Hagee turns to the VFW Post 1264 for help, but the Salem VA Medical Center also gets a few extra calls over the holiday weekend. Working daily with veterans struggling with PTSD, Dr. Sarah Voss Harrell suggests they use noise canceling headphones and control their breathing to lower anxiety. Usually, the best thing we recommend is for for people to slow their breathing down. We tend to kind of hyperventilate when we get panicky, and so. We teach people how to slow their exhale. She also advises people to try cognitive behavioral therapies to help reduce symptoms. Before igniting fireworks, Hagee says be courteous and let neighbors know ahead of time. In Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you. If you or a veteran you know needs help, you can call the National Veteran Crisis Line. That number is on your screen right now. For more local resources, head to our website, wsls.com.